Yo boys, welcome to the last ever workout I will do as a 17 year old. So right now is my peak 17 year old physique before I am 18 years old. We're starting off with muscle up training. You'll see I'm trying to do chest to bar pull ups. The first set was not very successful. It looked okay on the first few reps, but after that I was getting a bit low. So I'm doing lower reps on the back of set. I've done a ton of sets here, just trying to practice my form on pulling very, very high into my body. Next time I do this workout, I will probably be going into full muscle ups, which I'll be able to do. However, I decided that I work my way into, I don't want to just go straight into muscle ups with bad form and shit. So I thought I'd take a week to practice explosive pull ups just to get that down. You can also see I'm trying to do a false grip, which is when your palm is on the bar. So it's kind of wrapped around the bar a bit more. This is very hard for me. I'm not very good at the false grip, obviously, because I've not practiced it whatsoever. However, I felt so much form activation just doing this different grip. And like I got a massive forearm pump from that as well. Doing that grip basically means that when you go into the muscle up, when you go into the pressing motion, you don't actually need to rotate your wrist as it's already in the correct position, which makes it a lot smoother. Obviously, right now, I'm a complete muscle up noob, but wait until... We'd be moving with the weight, added weight onto the muscle ups, sets of five maybe, weighted muscle up. That is going to be so insane. It's just going to look cool. Is this the best for hypertrophy? Absolutely not, but it is the best for just like fun and coolness. And that's why we go to the gym anyway. Currently, I've put muscle up training on my arm day. So I'm actually going to do arms after this. I might slightly tweak this as my arms have come up so much. I don't feel like they really are a weak point anymore. There's still a muscle group that I want to bring up more than the others though. I wouldn't be opposed to maybe adding weighty dips on this day. However, I would still be a more armed focused workout after the main two exercises. Next, we're doing tricep push downs. As you know, I like to keep the rope together as it allows me to go heavier and kind of push out insane grinders you might think this form isn't very strict however this is kind of like the drill free schofield form where you're just absolutely attacking the weight with aggression and you can see i'm pushing out these grinders a lot of people would already fail by now and they're not push for these hard reps now i'm only seven and a half kg away from maxing the tricep push down for reps which i said i was going to do months ago and it was it seemed like a bit of an unrealistic goal when i told people they kind of laughed but we are here, we're almost there to max out the tricep pushdown. Obviously, we're supersetting our arms. There's no reason not to superset your arms. So we're doing hammer curls today. Personally, I always do hammer curls standing. I don't know why, I just don't like the seated hammer curl. Also, you can kind of go heavier this way. There's a little bit of swing, but not too much. Finishing off with some little partials, which I really enjoy on biceps. I also do this sometimes on triceps, but not as often as I'll do it for a bicep exercise. There's something about doing partials on a bicep exercise. It just makes it so good. As I've grown my arms significantly in not a very long time span, one of the things I can say is that you must train with aggression and intensity when doing your arms. It needs to be like a one rep max bench press you're going into this hype you're going into this giving everything to that set you can especially see that in my tricep sets where i'm literally vibrating as i'm trying to get that last rep as i track all my sets when i hit let's say 12 reps and i know i need to get 13 reps because the week previously i hit 12 reps and i need to get that last rep there's nothing that's going to stop me from grinding through that last rep to progressively overload you need to be tracking your weights because that will give you the more even more motivation to train to failure just to like beat your previous PR. I've done four sets of the tricep push down and the hammer curls supersetted together. I probably could have gotten away with doing three sets and gotten the same result. However, I wanted to do four sets for some reason. Something in my head just wanted to do four sets. But if you're doing this yourself, you don't need that many sets on one exercise to be honest. Especially as straight after my supersets, I'm moving on to another arm superset. However, I'm only doing these four, three sets each. This is a bit of a random point, but is it just me that it's a lot harder to train to failure on a bicep exercise compared to a tricep exercise? Obviously, I'm going to failure regardless of how painful it is on the bicep exercise. However, I feel it's significantly harder mentally to get through the bicep burn compared to the tricep burn. Now we're moving on to our final two exercises. As you can see, for an arm day, you don't actually need that much. I tend to just like doing four arm exercises, then maybe some other exercise for different muscle groups. But for the arms, this is really all you need. I'm doing a spider curl with the easy bar just now. 
I do prefer to do these with dumbbells, however, because I was using the easy bar for the next exercise that I'm supersetting these with, I decided to just do it with this. However, next time I'm definitely going to just bring over the dumbbells as the dumbbells felt significantly better, as my wrists were not fixed in this annoying position. Either calls are good because the amount of partials you can squeeze out on them is absolutely ridiculous, especially if you're someone who can train past failure, they're absolutely amazing. Next, we're moving on to a lying tricep extension, kind of a skull crusher, but as I said, because we're going behind their head, it's not actually a skull crusher. Most people do not do these properly. You should have your arms fixed and the bar going behind your head. I might actually change this to a straight bar. Most people say the easy bar feels better, but I actually really did not like the feeling of the easy bar grip. So I might see, does a straight bar actually feel better? contrary to what people usually recommend. As you can see, I'm not actually training super hard on this tricep exercise as it is new. I do not want to push the envelope too much as I do not want to hurt my elbow. This is a very aggressive exercise on your elbow, so I would be careful with this, especially if you have experienced elbow pain in the past. However, as I've conditioned my elbows pretty well, I could do this, however, I'm still not going to failure. However, once I've conditioned myself, I'll definitely load up the weight on this and just get absolutely Yo, when I started doing this, I actually started with the bar. So you have to be wary of this. Even I start with the bar on the exercise that I have not done before. Boys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos I've been posting for oh, many, many months now. We will be starting a new playlist on the channel, this 18-year-old recreational bodybuilder instead of the 17-year-old recreational bodybuilder. If you look back on that playlist, you'll probably be able to see quite a lot of gains that I've made, kind of like my journey from early 17 year old to late 17 year old and all the gains that I've made, differences in my training. So go have a look at that playlist if you're interested in that. Finishing off with abs though, and we're doing this weighted with just a four kg dumbbells, 15 reps I got here. The next video I post will be titled 18 year old bodybuilder, just to like mark the start of the 18 year old training saga. Let's see how big we're all gonna get for the next year. Anyway, boys, I appreciate all the support on the videos. Genuinely, it means so much to me. So thank you for making it this far in the video. We are going to be doing new things, new videos in the future. I know just now, kind of just doing the training videos. However, I'm going to add more diversity to my content and that will be coming soon. So appreciate it, boys, and have a nice day.